This is Extreme Makeover. Tammy's a stay-at-home mom for her three young children and her husband, Wally. It's a job that starts early in the morning and never lets up. Bradley, don't wash all of the toothpaste off because then it's not going to clean your teeth. Tammy's devoted herself to doing everything for her family, but the constant grind has worn her down at only 40 years old. Everything is starting to go south. Uh, the eyes, um, I've got baggy eyelids, and um, it seems like my skin is starting to really sag and I don't like that. It makes me look tired. It makes me look haggard, I think. World-renowned plastic surgeon, Dr. Garth Fisher, a board-certified cosmetic surgeon who has performed over 7,000 procedures and has been voted one of the top surgeons in his field. Hello, Tammy. Hi. How are, How are you? you? Dr. Garth Fisher, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you, too. What I've been noticing is a lot of droopiness and sagging. Um, specifically, you know, in my face, my cheeks, my neck. Um, in addition, my eyes, they're, they seem to, I'm getting a lot more wrinkles. Okay. The most common complication with eye surgery, uh, whether it's an upper or lower eyelid surgery, is, is mm -hmm. that it's usually the result of taking off too much skin where it's difficult to close your eyes, you have dry eyes or something like that. I have some acne scarring okay. around this area. And, um, you know, I know there's laser or... Using the laser is probably the best way to go. However, with the laser, you're going to be red anywhere from three weeks to three months. Dr. Fisher was wonderful. Um, he just seems to take you and let you feel like you're the, the only person he cares about. And he really wants what's best for you. I like to use this imager as a communication tool. It's helpful for me to know what you like and what you don't like. I'm just going to draw something that I think that would look really good. And then you stop me and tell me if you like it or not. See how this eye looks a little bit more open? I haven't even been able to lift your brow on the, um, on the, on the imager. But I think mm -hmm. that, that, that gives a really nice appearance. It makes a very big difference. I feel like I've won the lottery. This is above and beyond winning the lottery. This is. This is any woman's dream. When I first saw Tammy, she had beautiful blue eyes and a great underlying facial skeleton. She just looked so tired, and, and I knew we could pull that out and make her look really great. I was excited about that. Their big day is here at last. Tammy has a 7 a.m. appointment with Dr. Fisher and his entire team. I'm going to make sure, and everybody here is going to make sure that you get the best of care. We're going to make sure everything's right for you, OK? I'm just marking where the high points are for the fat just so we know exactly where those are. And I'm marking the mandibular ligament connection down here because we're gonna loosen that. And I'm marking where I'd like her brow to be. Um, I'm gonna bring this hump down right here, all right? Okay. And then we're gonna take this area of your nose and we're gonna bring it in closer like that. I'm ready. Any Let's questions at all? Okay. When they wheeled me into the room, to the surgical room, it finally hit by then. This is really happening. It's it's not a dream. It, this is for real. It's getting me already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're going to be fine. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to have a great day. You're going to wake up feeling great. As you start snoring, we'll give you some oxygen here. Well, we're going to take the brow. We're going to do the brow lift first, and I'll probably take about an hour and a half. We've done Tammy's brow lift, we've done her upper and lower blepharoplasty, her eyelid surgery, uh, we've done the laser peel around her mouth and her facelift, and now we're about to start her nose. I'm a really strong believer in doing the entire face and making it really, really natural because if you just do portions of it, sometimes it looks like the wrong lid on the wrong jar. By the time Tammy's wheeled into recovery, it's already dark outside. I think it turned out really, really well. She's going to look great. She's got beautiful eyes. We did um, a brow lift, endoscopic brow lift, and uh, upper and lower blepharoplasty. We did a laser peel around her face, around, I mean, around her mouth, and uh, a rhinoplasty and a facelift, and uh, really worked, you know, from the neck up, and I think it's going to really make a nice change. But Tammy is having a tougher time. She's experiencing a common reaction to the anesthetic. Tammy, you're yeah. a little nauseated, huh? Yeah. All day, real bad. I was throwing up last night. Love it today. You need some sugar. 
Tammy's doing okay. She's nauseated a little bit, which is uh, something that happens frequently. Um, and, you know, she's swollen. She's got ice, and she's, she's starting to recover now, and she'll get better tomorrow. But I think the main problem is you just don't have any sugar. You know, you've been yeah. without, you've been without uh, anything to eat for so long. When he checks her progress the next day, Tammy's ice pack has already been removed. Well, came in to see how you're doing. We're going to take out these drains and uh, okay. check everything out, okay? Okay, great. So you don't have any bruises on your face, just around your eyes. The part where we did the uh, laser resurfacing around your mouth is red like a rug burn, but that's going to quickly start getting better. This is always one of the, the best days. That's when you really start getting better. Afterwards, Dr. Fisher must rewrap her head to keep the swelling down. A few days later, Tammy and Kane have recovered enough to head to Dr. Fisher's office for a progress check. It's been about four days. Yeah. You actually don't have any bruising except for the rug burn from the laser. You look really good. It was just incredible. I, I really was at a loss for words because uh, I could finally see my look coming together. You have to be really careful not to move your scalp back and forth because we don't want to pull at the brow right now while it's sealing in place. Okay. Your eyes are going to look great. You're going to look really, really good. And I'll show you some pictures in the operating room. We took off, you know, a lot of skin. I was really afraid to see what my face looked like. It takes you back a little bit to see the stitches and that type of thing. One week later, Tammy's back at Dr. Fisher's office for a big moment, the removal of the splint and bandages that still cover her face. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Now it's been how long since your surgery? Let's see, uh, it's been 10 days now, I believe. 10 days. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take off your splint today and see your nose. Okay. Here's the mirror. Okay. Your cheekbones are better than they used to be because that tissue that was here, we moved up to make your cheeks nice, round, and full again. Mm -hmm. uh, your jawline's a little bit better. Your neck's better. The nasolabial fold area is better, and I think we got it. What we know now is that you're going to have a very natural result. We can already mm -hmm. tell that. I think you're going to look really great. Okay. And I'm going to tell you what I tell everybody. When I take the splint off your nose, you're not going to like it because mm -hmm. it's going to be very swollen, all right? It may be more swollen on one side than the other. It's going to be hard to tell. and before, it's gonna take a year before you see what your nose is gonna look like. I'm excited to see your little nose. Uh, the whole time scary, I didn't have the mirror see, up. It looks very, very pretty. Now, I want you to look at it. And then he finally said, okay, take a look at your nose. And so I put the mirror up and uh, was very, very pleasantly surprised. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Wow, it looks so much better. Just a pretty little oh my nose. Gosh. After six long weeks, it's time for Tammy to come home. This is it. <laughs> Tammy received a nose job, a facelift, and had her eyes done. She also got a brow lift, laser resurfacing around her mouth, and had porcelain veneers on her teeth. I just feel that my whole direction in life is, has made a change because I've been on the Extreme Makeover Show. I've just reached new heights in my life that I never would have been able to accomplish before without this experience.